we believe today only 1% of what can be connected in the world is actually connected. And it took us as an industry about 20 years to connect 1% of the world. And in the next 10 years, we believe that number will go up dramatically. We'll make significant progress in connecting the 99% that's still unconnected. That'll be people, that'll be devices, that'll be a lot more information on the network. So when we say the internet of everything, we mean an intelligent way to connect processes with data and things. And so it is really making sure not just Internet of Things, not just connecting the devices onto the network, but how can you use the information that's being collected to drive better processes, better decision making for businesses, better lifestyles for, for users and consumers, and more efficient way to analyze that, that data uh, through analytics from the network, which is our expertise, to make every single vertical, you know, manufacturing, retail, transportation, significantly different than what they are today. So if I drill deeper into this, uh, one of the things that uh, I think we will, we find it's inevitable, it'll, there'll be a lot more connectivity and there'll be two kinds of connectivity. One kind of connectivity which will deliver to us very rich media experiences, you know, through video. Video will be much more prevalent than it is today. There'll be another set of data or um, implication, which is all these sensors that will connect, which is not necessarily high bandwidth data, but low bandwidth data, but continuous streaming of low bitrate data. Um, and the patterns in these two kinds of data and applications are gonna be very different. Uh, so if you think about retail, for example, how people shop today, right? And that's dramatically changed with the mobile platform, with the e-commerce platform in the first evolution of the internet. In the last 20 years with the internet and now more recently with tablets, actually now the data says people sh shop more on a tablet uh, than they do on a smartphone or on a PC. And so this, the commerce and how we purchase and the shopping experience in the entire retail vertical has changed and it'll continue to change and how might it change? And this is a perhaps this internet of things example. Um, if we can enable location for people when you walk into the store, we know which aisle you are going to. We know you were in this aisle, but you didn't purchase something. And so if we can analyze that data and present to you when there's a sale going on, um, that benefits you as a user as as well as the retailer. And so that could be an example where there, there may be sensors, there'll be location, indoor location, think of it as GPS for indoor location, and knowing your preferences. So it's really a combination of a recommendation engine, a preference engine, of a coupon uh, or a discount uh, engine, a loyalty program combined with indoor location. Uh, so it's a combination of all these things which today are very discrete applications that will in the future make retail a very different ex experience.